You really have no shame. I mean, it's bad enough that you caused that as his death, but now you want to erase every trace of her from Ethan's life? It won't work. Mm, I beg to differ. You've gone through this entire house. I've seen it. And you've removed all of Teresa's pictures and her clothing and her jewelry. Anything that could remind Ethan of the woman that he loves. Ah, uh, loved. No, loves. He told you that. To your face. And now you want to get rid of her child. Ah, uh, I'm not trying to send Jane to boarding school. You really are stupid, Glenn. Do you think that you can pack up little Ethan and just send them off to school and all of a sudden Ethan's going to stop thinking about Teresa? You couldn't be more wrong. You can get rid of everything. But it's not going to change anything, Gwen. Teresa lives on in Ethan's heart. And she always will. She's the woman that Ethan loves. And nothing you do will ever change that. You know what's ironic? That the harder you try to erase Teresa's memory, the stronger it becomes. I mean, because of you, Ethan brings Teresa up in virtually every conversation. You are your own worst enemy. This conversation is over. It's over when I say it is. You are pitiful. Bright blue and pitiful. Ethan has never loved Teresa more, and there's nothing you can do about it. Ah, see, that's where you're wrong. Because I've already replaced Teresa in Ethan's heart. He's with me, Pilar, and he loves me, so. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't believe that any more than I do. You know why? Because if you did, you wouldn't act so desperate. You wouldn't feel threatened by any little memory of Teresa. So you're boring me, and I'm going to go up to change. And you know what? You should try a bright color. Maybe it'll help with that new complexion that you have now. Go ahead. Make fun of me. Go ahead. But when I'm done changing, I'm going to pack up the Lethan, and um, I will get my way Pilar. And actually, I'm going to send that kid to a boarding school so far away that you will never see him again. If only you were here to stop.